Independence Day to everybody that celebrates in Sri Lanka today. Thank you, thank you to all my viewers and my subscribers who are in Sri Lanka and I hope that you are having a fabulous, fabulous day. Probably by the time this video is live, I would have to say that you're probably halfway through your celebrations. Hopefully everything is going well. And I don't know the situation in your part of the world at this point in time, but please stay safe. And why are we staring at buds and not blooms? I ask myself exactly the same question. This has got to be the longest developing spike in the history of my collection. Ridiculous. First time I saw one spike was in October of 2020. We are now in February of 21. This is what I have to show for. It's like waiting for a pregnancy to be over. In the orchid world, probably. I'm sure that there are other spikes that take much, much longer, but for my collection and what I am used to, it doesn't take this long. Four months, really. And this is Zygonesia Murasaki Komachi. Ha, when I did the Care Collab video, I was like, I'm leaving it to the wire. Hopefully that the, they will be in bloom for the Care Collab, but nope. Now I'm in February and I still don't have blooms open. The fact they're cracking open, please do not be confused. This has been going on for three days now. This bloom, three days. This bloom, two days. I don't know what is up with this spike. I don't see any bud blasting at all. I wish I could show you these blooms on your day Sri Lanka, however, Murasaki has other plans. I'm trying to stare into this bloom right here and I wonder what is the mystery? Why the secrecy? Why are you taking so long? We're getting some nicer, warmer weather. There is no excuse. I'm also seeing some damage on the petals. Let me, there, you see that black? I don't know why the privacy and the secrecy but we will visit this one again at some point, eventually, either when she's fully opened or the spike has dried up with buds on it. I have no idea. And these white marks, I don't know what they are. They're not pests. They don't just come off easily. Let's go inside and see what else I can't show you. <laughs> just one moment, please, sorry. Hello everybody, thank you so much for clicking on this video and before we go inside, by contrast, I want to show you my Zygopetalum No ID, the two spikes that have developed in about two years of me transitioning this orchid into LECA and self-watering. I never thought I would see it again, but here we go, it's happening. Two spikes, I'm so pleased, I cannot tell you. It's a big achievement for me. I thought this orchid was a goner. I keep checking for aphids. Just want to make sure that my buds stay mine as opposed to become lunch for some others. But these spikes develop much later than the Zygonesia. Lo and behold, to my surprise, it is developing at about four times the speed that the Zygonesia is developing at. And uh, maybe they want to bloom together? I have no idea. Like I said, I'm baffled about the Zygonesia Murasaki, but these guys are rocketing. They're doing really well, developing, to my understanding, quite normally and also in a timely manner. So these are buds I can show you. They're not the blooms. I can't show you those either. I would love to show you my Colmenara Masai Red as well. Clearly, they are really, really pushing hard now and fast. They are much faster this year than I remember last year. Last year, I was panicking because of the cold temperatures and I was begging my orchid to hold on because she lives outside, despite the fact that sometimes my temperatures get far too low. And I was begging her just to hold on, hold on. And while she was not producing spikes, she is way early, way early this year. But what a show it's going to be. And I'm sorry to all you Sri Lankan nationals I want to show you some blooms. I have none. I have buds galore to show you and I can celebrate successful spikes, but no blooms. 
my golf green hair pig is also on the way out. Goodbye, beautiful orchid. Until next time, I'm gonna miss you, but I'm gonna love you until I see your pretty blooms again. Yeah, the other bloom had already faded, so I cut it off. This is the last glorious look at fading golf green hair pig. I still have a little bit to show you on my epic Leah here. This is the Brenna Marquez, was crossed with Potinara Free Spirit. She's pretty. Buds blasted on the other Epicatlia cross, not surprising because of the draft and the wind and things that I have to open in order to aerate my dining room. I can show you the attempted opening of my little Catlia, little fairy, Catlianthe little fairy. They're not quite ready yet. I lost the bud on this cluster as well. And I can show you my Neifert's Alex Polly. And the third spike is opening in the back there. So that's happening. My little Sabulifolia is still rocking it, smelling delicious. Now that golf green hair pig is out of the way, she is actually being able to exude her fragrance in a more predominant manner. And if I go up slowly, I can show you that my Roy Tokonaga is coming along really nicely and one bud is starting to open up there. Right. There's something else I wanted to show you that I discovered recently. So let's have a very gentle meander. Hello. Hello, you three. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I love these guys. Half your bedlam, Iona. Here's my little Arengus fastuosa. And you can see there's a spike growing in there, already really nicely developed. I'm sure it's going to be okay, but I'm watching it against that orchid top edge. And just between here with the camera, and with you guys, I have noticed a second spike. That is fantastic, so I don't feel so bad after all. I can actually show you something. This is amazing. I was not expecting this second spike. This orchid was just uh, moved from a mount like a year ago, this time probably last year. Well, not quite because when she finished blooming, because she was getting too big and I wanted to make sure that I could keep up with her needs, and I put her into Orchid Top with Ceramis and just hoping, hoping that she will forgive me and that she would settle in. But she has forgiven me. The leaves aren't quite to size yet. But look, she hasn't dropped a single leaf and I have a second spike. <laughs> Woohoo! So for the national holiday of Sri Lanka, I am actually able to go look at this, you guys. Yep, I haven't seen this one before. Well, that was worth it. But I'm not going to leave you hanging completely, Sri Lanka. Look at this one and great crumbossery. I cannot tell you. I can't do cartwheels anymore, but trust me inside, I am doing cartwheels. I've got two blooms on an orchid that I didn't think was ready to bloom. I have not experienced the fragrance yet because they've only just opened fully yesterday. But isn't this amazing? So it looks like she's in the dark. Well, I had to switch the blurple lights off in order to see this. I can't put the shop lights on because everything goes yellow. So this is with the flashlight on the camera. But look at that. Sri Lanka. Happy Independence Day from me and the named orchid with my surname in it and great compulsory. So happy that I could do this. So happy. Oh, she's gorgeous and gorgeous and more gorgeous than gorgeous. Have yourselves a wonderful day and everybody else who watches this video, same to you. Have yourself a wonderful day. 
Thank you very, very much for clicking on the video, for coming, having a look-see as to what is not going on, and then sticking to the end to see this. More about her in another video, so have yourselves a wonderful day. Please, please stay safe and take care. Bye.